When you want quiet, mm -hmm. you come to my house. Mm -hmm. You can lay down on the couch, mm -hmm. look at the beautiful view. Things might be a little tense between Caitlyn and Kris Jenner these days, but you know, they're working on it. Today's episode of Newsfeed is brought to you by Pandora Premium, where you can search and play your favorite songs. Pandora sounds like you. So before all the drama went down between Chris and Caitlyn, things actually look like they could get better. Way before Chris's angry reaction to Caitlyn's memoir was revealed to the world, it seems as if Chris and Caitlyn's relationship was on the mend. In the latest Keeping Up with the Kardashians promo, the former Olympian stopped by her ex's house to drop off a copy of her new memoir, The Secrets of My Life, a move that Chris called a positive step in the right direction. In the promo for Sunday's episode, the two enjoyed a bottle of wine and shared memories of their past, but things got a little intense when Caitlyn started to ask for her gum back. Oh, no, she didn't. While explaining to Chris about changing the name the gun is registered under, the topic of gender confirmation surgery came up, and when Chris asked if Caitlyn would have gone through that change, she immediately shut her down. You already We're have- We're not, you know what? What? Don't even go down this road, because I'm not talking about it. Oh. Although Caitlyn shut Chris down during that moment, she reportedly revealed in her upcoming memoir that she did in fact go through with the surgery. Aside from causing quite a stir on the upcoming episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Caitlyn's new 2020 with Diane Sawyer revealed that the 67-year-old has come quite a ways on topics like gay marriage and her support of President Donald Trump. Caitlyn stirred up a bunch of controversy after she told Ellen DeGeneres that she believed marriage should be between a man and a woman. But since then, she changed her stance on it all. Let's clear that up right now. And, and I, I am 100% for, for gay marriage. Because I think two years ago you said it was an evolving process. Which it was, yeah. And when it comes to President Trump, even though she voted for him, she's not particularly fond with how he and his administration have been treating the trans community. She said in the interview, quote, yes, I did vote for Trump, but here's the deal breaker with the Republican Party. And the deal breaker is you mess with my community, you do the wrong thing with our community, you don't have equality and a fair shot. I'm coming after you. When it comes to all equality issues for the entire LGBT community, what we need is federal guidance. Just like the previous administration said that it was okay to serve as a trans person in the military. We have frontline people, okay? I'm talking Marines, trans guys on the front line fighting for our country. I'm trying to get especially the Republican Party to make a change. So what do you guys think of all this? Do you think Chris and Caitlyn's relationship will ever get back to what it used to be? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out on Clever News. I'm your host, Megan Lamontagne, and have a great weekend. Click to the left to find out why Chris flipped out after reading Caitlyn's memoir and over to the right for all the backlash Kim got from her latest Kimoji. Thanks again to Pandora for sponsoring this episode now with Pandora Premium, where personalized radio meets on-demand listening. It's the only music app you'll ever need.